Ice cream company Ben & Jerry's has been praised after releasing a powerful statement in support of Black Lives Matter, saying that the death of George Floyd was a predictable consequence of a racist and unjust system. In solidarity, they've also rebranded their vanilla flavour as hashtag all flavours matter. In other news, white people have never been under the impression that their lives don't matter. A Japanese student has allegedly killed two members of his family in a crossbow rampage before being arrested on Thursday morning. The National Crossbow Association has released a statement saying, The only person who can stop a bad guy with a crossbow is a good guy with a more effective long-range weapon, like a gun. A letter to the New South Wales Health Minister from the Eros Association has proposed new guidelines for restarting the sex industry including screening clients for risk factors using non-contact thermometers, providing clients and workers with face masks, hand sanitizer and gloves, and banning group sex. I mean, if I wanted to go through all that, I'd just stay home and have sex with the wife! The photo of Adolf Hitler holding the Bible that's been circulating online this week has proven to be photoshopped. The photo, which many think inspired Donald Trump's photo holding the Bible outside St. John's Church, has been proven by experts to be digitally altered, with the Nazi leader actually holding his favourite book, Art of the Deal. That's all from In Other News this week. Please stay tuned for a montage of our favourite celebrities' Instagram black squares, featuring Shane Jacobson. I'm Daniel Muggleton. Good night.